Well, hello again. Today we are doing a walkthrough at the Patriots Place in Williamsburg, Virginia. Now, not to confuse it with the Patriots Inn, which is two different resorts. So the Patriots Place is where we're staying, which is located off of Bypass Road in Williamsburg. Now, this is a Wyndham property. And at this resort, they only offer one bedroom units, but they have lock offs, which allows you to get two units, which then turns your one bedroom into a two bedroom. And that is what we have, and that is what we're going to show you. So, let's go. We are the Simon family. We are a family of five traveling from resort to resort, sharing our experiences with you. Since we've started full-time traveling, we have stayed at 16 resorts, and we can't wait to see what new locations we will explore in 2022. We do walkthroughs and give you our review on the resort from an adult and a kid's perspective. We also love to include some of the best local activities to do with kids. So sit back and enjoy because you are watching The Full-Time Vacationer. So this is walking into the front door of the full-size kitchen unit. Now, again, we talk about this all the time when we show our walkthroughs. When you're staying at a resort, some of them have full kitchens and some of them will have partial or mini kitchens. Depending on where you're staying, those styles could look different. And with those styles possibly being different, it could also determine the size of your unit, which we'll talk about later as we do a walkthrough on this unit. But first, you have your living room, which includes your sofa bed that pulls out to a size of a queen or full. We didn't use the sofa bed because we did have the two-part unit. So right off of the living room, you have your dining room, which only seats four. Now, again, like I said, this is a one bedroom unit, which averaged four people that can fit in this one particular unit. And then we have going into the kitchen. This is a full size kitchen. Again, I say full size because that means that we do have a full range with an oven. And as you'll see in the second part of this unit, you'll have a mini kitchen. But my only takeaway from this particular kitchen is that it is on the small side. So if you decide to cook a big meal with, using, with multiple people, this kitchen just won't work. Now, I did um, want to go back to the living room space because I forgot to show you guys the fireplace. But this is your fireplace and you do have access to your patio seating through that door. And then right off of that, you have your master suite. Now, this is a king size bed. Um, now the bedroom is fairly large. I really like the space. You have your TV, your six drawer dresser, the two end tables, closet access with a little bit of bench seating. And then going into the master bathroom, which is a double door bathroom. So this size have your toilet, sink and shower, but it also includes a stackable washer and dryer inside, which I'm not a big fan of. But going into the second part of this bathroom, you do have your sink, um, a tub and this actually gives you an additional shower because you get two showers one on this side and one on the other side now as we take you back down the hallway to the second part of this unit you'll notice that the two double doors is this is where the lock off access connects now on this side we left the doors open because this is where the kiddos slept and then walking into the master suite you see that they also had a king bed the two end tables closet access and then the tv with the dresser and then walking into the living space. Now the living space is smaller because again, it is a partial. It does include an additional dresser um, as your TV stand. And then it has the pull out sofa. And as you can see, it is a very small dining area that only seats three. There is a mini kitchen. Now let's talk about the difference in the kitchen. Looking at this mini kitchen, the stove is a lot smaller um, than your average range. Now let's be clear on the difference between a mini and a partial kitchen. From our experience, the mini kitchen will have what you see here. The range is a smaller version of a standard stove range that you may have in your home. And a mini kitchen will normally have about two or three cabinets that will include your cookware. Um, as you can see in this one, it also has a dishwasher. Um, I'm not sure if all of them will include a dishwasher, but so far the mini kitchens that we've stayed, the locations we stay with mini kitchens normally will have a dishwasher. As far as a partial kitchen, that normally looks like a full size kitchen, but it, it is missing the range with the oven. And that will normally include a portable two eyed burner, maybe a crock pot or, or and a griddle. 
It just depends on what you stay. So from our experience, they all normally will have coffee makers, toasters, refrigerators, microwaves, um, stuff for your, your essential cooking. So um, now that that's cleared up, I wanna go ahead and continue um, to their full-size bathroom. Now, if you are getting a partial, you will not have access to a washer and dryer. Um, that's the difference between the partial and the full-size units. Um, in the full-size units, the washer and dryer was in the, our master bathroom. So, um, But now that I gave you the adult point of view, I'm going to let Kier give you his take on the unit. And then we'll move over to the amenities that they offer. Okay, we just came from D.C. And, whoa, hold on. We, we we gotta cut that part out. All right, so I'm doing y'all the first impression of the new unit. And it looks pretty nice. Um, It does have like an older style. My bad that we put our stuff in here already, but it does have like a older style to it, which I'm not really a big fan of. Um, I like it more casual, more, you know what I'm saying? Just cool, 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 cool. Okay, well then, got the bat. We got the bat. We got the bat. <clears throat> Hold on. We got the bat. Man, oh, it's not phone bumping. So, I mean, porch ain't that big. It's, it's not, I'm not complaining. Oh, that pulled it away. I'm not complaining, you know? But it's not like I'll be on the porch just be sitting out here. So the view, dang, I don't want it. I don't want Apple or more Android. I can't tell right now. So that's that. We're not gonna talk about how hard it was to open that. Okay. So hey y'all. Anyways, this is what we're gonna do. We got these for actual real fireplaces. Okay. Keep your kids from around those. They like to mess with those. Oh, it, it drops. Oh, oh my God. We're gonna leave that alone. Blame it on that. Okay, then we got a four seated table. Um, We are a family of five, but you know I'm a bit man, so I already take a two seat, so I don't know how that's gonna work. The kitchen, the kitchen's okay. Decent size. I mean, I don't really be in the kitchen whipping it up like stir fry, so I can't really tell you how it is. I do like the stove. But when I do end up cooking, I like this type of stove instead of like the new technology stove where it's all flat and you just gotta press a button up there and it'll turn on. Like what? I don't sound too right. Cause if I like accidentally turn it on then, but let me start complaining it cause that's not what they have. So we have the bathroom. Uh, whoa, this bathroom is smaller than what I thought. Uh, Y'all do not clown me for having the same fit I had on last time I was here. Listen, I told you I just came from DC, man. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. Anyways, the tub is okay. It's a decent sized tub. I do not like the bathroom style, but then again, I think this is like the what they call a half bathroom. So then this is where we get to the full bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I do not care for the washer and dryer inside the bathroom. Like what? Like I'm, imagine using the bathroom and let's just say your clothes dry. Like you can hear. Eh, like that'll scare me. That'll scare me. I'm not even gonna hold you. So we got that, and then this bathroom. Like I said, this is the full bathroom. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I don't like the washer and dryer side, but other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, this is my dad room. Man, the bed is pretty decent. They TV. It's okay size. It, it could be bigger. Like, why well, have all this counter for this TV? Come on now. Stop playing. Anyways. So, yep, that is the tour of the unit. And for my first impression, I, I definitely think it's okay. Um, I would give it, out of 10, I'd give it a, probably a 6. But that's just me. Um, yeah, I'll see you another time.